Hey guys, I'm Megan and you're watching Fabulous TV Patia. Today I am here at the Hill Tribe Village Patia. Right here you can experience the real northern Thailand countryside. Right here in Patia there are many, many things to see and do. You can see the Long Neck Hill Tribe here. You can go on elephant rides. You can feed the crocodiles and go on horse rides. The list of the things that you get to see and do here is endless, you know. It's the perfect place to come if you want to see the real northern Thailand culture but not have to go right up to Northern Thailand. You can see it right here in Pattaya. So come on, let's head inside and check it out. Located along the bypass road next to the railway line in South Pattaya is the recently opened Hill Tribe Village Pattaya. Here you'll be able to experience an elephant ride whilst taking in the beautiful views of the village. Elephants are the official national animal of Thailand and were previously used as a form of transport. You'll also be able to experience the Northern Thai traditional market where you can purchase handmade goods and even try on and purchase the Hill Tribe clothing and accessories. A horse carriage will then be waiting to take you to your next stop. The horse carriages are a tradition from Lampang City in the north of Thailand and are still used as a form of transport today. The most popular attraction is the Long Neck Village area. Here you'll be able to see for yourselves the Long Neck tribes, also known as Giraffe Women or Galiang originating from Burma and mostly residing in Me Hong Son in northern Thailand. Brass coils are worn around the neck and legs, beginning around the age of five years old, with more coils added every couple of years. The village is also home to a large crocodile pond, where you'll have the opportunity to feed the crocodiles yourself. The Hill Tribe Village Patia a wonderful day out and a great opportunity to learn more about Northern Thailand culture without having to leave Pattaya City. The Sports Lounge in Soi Wan off Pratamnak is home to all your favourite sports and food. From 9 in the morning, delicious food, 99 baht full English breakfast and a daily special for 175 baht. That's available all throughout the day until closing time. Soi Wan Pratamnak in the Pattaya Heights condominium with plenty of parking. This is Thai time with me, Tommy D, and Crew Fon. Good Sabadi morning. Sawadi crap. Sabai di mai. Sabai di ma ka. What are we going to learn today? About far. far. Like, uh, is the place far where we're going now? Oh, like okay. Far? You're changing from fun to far. <laughs> All right. I have no idea how to do this. Grai. Grai. Grai, yes. Grai means um, far. Oh, okay. And you want to ask, is that, is that far? It's Grai Mai. Grai Mai. Yes. Grai Mai. Ah, I've, I've heard that word, but in a different context. I've, I've lost that completely now. Grai Mai. Grai Mai, yes. Grai Mai. Sentan Grai Mai. Oh, is central very far away? Yeah. Like Sentran, because it's got the L on the end that you pronounce as an N. <laughs> God forbid. Sentan. Sentan. <laughs> Sentan. Grai mai. Yes. And then they go, my grai. My grai. My grai, my grai not ka. far, yeah? Yes, my. And I just put my. It's not, no? Yeah, not, so. Not far. Grai is far. Yes. And you can say anywhere. Krung tep, Bangkok. Krung tep, grai mai. Is it far there? And then somebody else says, no, it's not far. 
My Grey. Very good. Oh, that's an easy one for today. We'll find out how well we do tomorrow on Tie Time with Crufon on Fabulous 103. Local news first today and roads in all of the region will be slippery throughout the day after last night's storms. The night and early morning saw huge storms throughout the region and indeed much of Thailand. Here flooding subsided quickly but did see the usual areas deluged. Of importance now is that additional storms are on the way. The roads will have sand washed onto them too in many parts and sand is as dangerous as ice in the west so drivers, especially motorcyclists, are advised to take extra care. Yesterday, we warned of tailbacks on the Sukhumvit and anyone daring to try will agree that they were certainly evident. Those continue through the next few days as a footbridge is being built and the channel is closed for much of the time. Best to use alternate routes. The railway road or third road both run parallel to the Sukhumvit. The new British Consul General is on Fabulous 103 today, his first media interview in Thailand, and will be posing your questions in the morning show, with a podcast being available from Wednesday. Meanwhile, in the rest of Thailand, a crisis centre has been set up to manage any relief necessary, as storms continue to barrage much of the nation. Rivers such as the Mekong are predicted to burst banks, as reservoirs work to release even more water into rivers nationwide. Many areas have seen flooding yesterday and road accidents resulting from heavy storms were reported in several areas. The warning remains in place for swimmers not to use the bay where strong undercurrents are predicted and small vessels are advised to remain on shore. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 31 dropping down to 26 and a very good chance of a storm at any time, that is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM. Keeping you in touch with Thailand and, of course, Pattaya, the city of fun. BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Hello, this is Joe Parsons. The Liverpool forward Mo Salah is on a three-person shortlist for the FIFA Men's Player of the Year award, along with Cristiano Ronaldo and Luka Modric. Salah helped Liverpool reach the Champions League final in May and scored 44 goals in all competitions. Kasper Schmeichel, the Leicester City and Denmark international, is among those in contention for the Best Goalkeeper award. His rivals are Tottenham's Hugo Lloris and the former Chelsea keeper Thibaut Courtois. The former Manchester United goalkeeper Peter Schmeichel says his son has earned the right to be on the shortlist. For me, I, I, I look at it, so who, who is performing? And that's how I voted as well. And I know you have to consider the, 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 the season that goes before, but it's so difficult because uh, I know from personal experience what it takes to play in a World Cup, what kind of mentality you have to come in with and what you have to deliver just to get through to the next game. That's how I judged it. And I thought, you know, the three guys that are on the shortlist... You know, I, I cannot disagree with that. Tottenham's Premier League match against Manchester City has been put back by a day to Monday the 29th of October and will be played at Wembley. All their home group games in the Champions League this season will also now be played at the National Stadium. With the details, here's the BBC's Joe Curry. Spurs had hoped that their new stadium, built on the site of their old White Hart Lane ground, would be ready in time for their first home game of the season against Liverpool on the 15th of September. However, following safety issues, that match was switched to Wembley last month. And now, Spurs say they're having to move even more matches to the National Stadium. All of their home group games in the Champions League will now be played there, along with their league fixture against Manchester City. Originally due to be played on October 28th, that clash has been pushed back 24 hours as Wembley are hosting an NFL game the day before. Manchester City's Raheem Sterling has withdrawn from the England squad for the upcoming international matches against Spain and Switzerland after suffering a back problem. England are not planning to call up a replacement. And for more football news from the BBC, go to bbc.com forward slash football.
BBC Premier League update from the home of Premier League football. Coming up next, Patty Mail taking you on a road trip. Coco Fitness in Mike Shopping Mall is giving away free yoga and Zumba classes to all members. And you get their state-of-the-art fitness equipment, air-conditioned studios, and a choice of classes too. Jets buy three months, get one free. Six months, get two free. Twelve months, get three free. And for the ladies who are looking to keep in shape, you get 50% off all memberships. Take advantage of these great deals now. From 7 a.m. through till 11 at night. Coco Fitness. No excuses. car today and I'm outside the Udantani railway station and I'm going to take you around now at one of the night markets and uh, they do lots of food and drinks and things like that so come on let's have a little look around and I'll show you what's going on oh fresh food there look wow hello hey hey and fresh drinks call them salted fish wow good Yes! Oof! Wow, how can he put up with that all night? It's red hot. And all these people here eating. Hello, everybody! Wow, Aloy? Good, good. Everybody enjoying themselves. Happy place. Sabai, sabai. Wow, fish and grubs. All protein for you. Look at all that. Wow. Getting a bit busy down this end now. All right. You get all your different types of chicken here, look. And all your different types of meat and your squid. And I love that. I think it's like a raw mango and you dip it in like a sugar and, um, and, and a chilli sauce. Oh, lovely. And as you can see, it's all hustle and bustle. Everybody's shopping. All that fresh veg there, look. And they love these cockles. All them things there. Some nights they have like where you can buy all your football shirts and tracksuit bottoms and things, but they're expecting rain tonight, so not many people set up here. So there's Udantani railway station. And this is where the next bit starts of the night market. Okay, so here you can buy all clothes and uh, trainers and shoes and handbags and things like that. So, and watches, all right? So that's just this bit now. But then it opens up into like a big food court in a minute. Nice big fountain here to keep you cool. Wow, can't even move. You can sit anywhere you want here and from the different stalls, they'll bring you your food. And it's not expensive. Hello. Look, there you are. And then down here now, it's like loads of um, seating areas and raised balconies um, where you can have drinks for the night. Right, yeah, look at this. Friend day Friday. It's not even Friday. Look. How good's this place? And all these places there you can sit. Like that. And all them places there. And you can sit on the on the balcony. Hi ladies. Yeah, I see. I think it starts about 9 p.m. The big band comes on, you see. Look at that. I hope you all enjoyed that little video. There's a lot more to Udantani than what you think if you go mooching. And that, on a night time, it's absolutely fantastic. So I'll see you all soon. And the main thing is, keep smiling. Coming up next, fabulous food. The referees can't decide who the winner should be in the big match between Retox versus Retox Game On. Retox in Soy Lenki is the sports bar with more, and more of those specials, like the 98 bat breakfast and daily Brexit specials. 
Retox Game On in Soy Honey is the brand new sports bar with 50 TVs, including one at your own table, plus the surprise of a new menu and seating for 200 for any match, day or night. The battle continues 24 hours a day. Try Retox and Retox Game On, then you decide. Coming up next on Fabulous TV Patia. The Sports Lounge in Soy One off Pratham Neck is home to all your favourite sports and food. From 9 in the morning, delicious food, 99 baht full English breakfast, and a daily special for 175 baht. That's available all throughout the day until closing time. Soy One Pratham Neck in the Patia Heights condominium with plenty of parking. Hi guys, I'm Megan and this is Fabulous TV Patia. Today I am here on the Pratamnak Hill, which is in between Patia City and Jom Tien. There are many, many things to see and do here. The first place 
that I'm taking you to today is Wat Prayai. It's the big golden Buddha on the top of the Pratamnak Hill. It's certainly something that you should come to see here in Pattaya. There are also many other things to see on Pratamnak Hill, which we will be checking out here today. But first, let's check out this beautiful golden Buddha, Wat Prayai. A long stairway lined by two golden colored Naga snakes leads you up to the enormous Golden Buddha, which is a staggering 18 meters high. The Golden Buddha was constructed back in 1977 and is known as Luang Po Yai. It's the largest Buddha statue in the province of Chomburi. Surrounding the big Buddha are seven smaller Buddhas, as well as a pavilion with Buddha's footprint for people to pay their respects. Remember to always dress respectfully when visiting religious attractions. A little further down the hill, you'll find Wang Sam Sian, established for the presentation of the collection of Chinese antique work, as well as a number of figures from Chinese history. Close to the entrance is the white statue of the Chinese Goddess of Mercy, known as Guan Im. There's also a large metal bell, built to resemble the bell in the royal palace in Beijing, China. A wall filled with 24 beautiful paintings tells the 24 stories of gratitude. A couple of hundred meters away is the popular Pattaya Hill, also known as Khao Prabat, home of the Prabat Temple. Here you'll be able to pay your respects to the Buddha's footprint, which is over 200 years old. Steps away, you'll find the Pattaya viewpoint. It's the most popular place to overlook the city and very picturesque at both daytime and nighttime. After a day of exploring, you can sit back and enjoy a nice refreshing drink at the Hilltop Coffee Shop certainly the perfect place to go to watch the sunset over Pattaya City. Let's have a look at some of the special events and promotions coming up around Pattaya today and this coming week. Well, there's quite a bit lined up for the next couple of weeks if you're looking for entertainment. On Friday the 7th of September, you can enjoy Mary and Friends live at the Retox Outback, kicking off the weekend with some live music and a nice relaxing atmosphere. That's a Friday night gig and it starts at 7.30 at Retox Outback on Soy Siam Country Club Road. And they recommend that you book ahead. The Garden Cafe at Avani Patia Resort and Spa promises that you can fill your boots with a feast for all the family at the cafe, enjoying a sizzling international and barbecue seafood buffet. That's going to be brimming with delicious dishes and fresh seafood takes place daily from 6 until 10 and is priced at only 850 baht per person. You can find the Garden Cafe inside the grounds of the Avani Patia Resort and Spa and that's a great way to escape Songkran for a few hours. The Cafe G at the Holiday Inn in Patia offers a breakfast buffet from 5.30 in the morning all the way through till 10.30. It's an international breakfast buffet every single day of the week with an array of Thai and international dishes, along with live cooking stations and, of course, fresh coffee, priced at only 550 baht on weekends, and even less during the week, 299 baht. Every Thursday is curry night at the Bangsaray Beach Club, which, of course, is in Bangsaray. Enjoy a different curry every week. 
paired with naan bread, poppadoms and onion bhajis. The price is only 250 baht a set. Tasty Indian food while you sit overlooking Bangsaray Bay. That's every Thursday evening and starts at 6 in the evening. Earth Hour Evening at the Salarim Nam Restaurant promises whining and dining your evening away under the stars with a candle-lit Earth Hour dinner. Indulge in a Thai traditional feast in romantic and relaxing surroundings out by the Lotus Ponds at Sala Rim Nam, which is located at the Avani Patia Resort and Spa on Second Road. That's every Monday evening from 7 until 10 in the evening. Fancy some live music and relaxation? Well, why not try the Havana Bar and Terrazzo restaurant? They're both at the Holiday Inn. And on Wednesdays all the way through till Saturday, you can sit back, relax and enjoy the wonderful sounds of the brand new in-house band. The Respect Band performs a range of Western, Thai, Chinese, country and even pop music. And that's located at the front of the Holiday Inn in Patias Beach Road. Every Sunday at the Havana Bar and Terrazzo Restaurant, Enjoy a buy one, get one free promotion on all pizzas between 12 midday and 8 o'clock in the evening. And don't forget your dancing shoes, as every Sunday evening is the popular Latin dancing night. Learn some new moves with complimentary dance lessons before the party and enjoy the Latin tunes by a live DJ. The dancing itself starts at 8.30 at the Havana Bar at Holiday Inn. A Sunday isn't a Sunday without a proper Sunday roast, and one that we recommend having tried it is the Sunday Carvery at Dicey Riley's Pub and Restaurant, which is on Second Road, right next door to the Avani Hotel. A traditional roast with all the trimmings priced at only $4.49, and that includes a free drink too. Over at the Sunset Lounge at the rooftop of the Hotel Barracuda on Patia's Second Road, you can enjoy the panoramic views of the city, as well as a two-hour free flow of wine and tapas. Mention Fabulous 103 FM and receive a special deal of only 777 baht plus plus per person. That's available every evening between 7 and midnight. Earth Hour Evening at the Sala Rim Nam Restaurant promises whining and dining your evening away under the stars with a candle-lit Earth Hour dinner. Indulge in a Thai traditional feast in romantic and relaxing surroundings out by the Lotus Ponds at Sala Rim Nam, which is located at the Avani Patia Resort and Spa on Second Road. That's every Monday evening from 7 until 10 in the evening. <laughs>